The listing of accomplishments by Eastern track and field athletes is a long and impressive one, with seven of those participants having found their way into the E-Club Hall of Fame. The eighth Hall of Famer from the program, Jason Edwards, is the only individual, however, to have earned All-America honors as many as four times. Jason competed in the NCAA National Championships in the long jump a remarkable six times, three times indoors and three times outdoors, and four times he attained All-America honors. In his career, Jason won five New England championships and was a 21-time All-New England and All-ECAC performer. At the conference level, he was the Little East and New England Alliance individual champion a total of 30 times in the long jump and sprints. Eleven years after his final meet, Jason still holds the New England Alliance, Little East Conference, and Eastern Program indoor and outdoor long jump records, as well as the current Eastern indoor and outdoor records at 200 meters. Jason Edwards is one of those athletes that I was lucky to have coached and will remember for my entire life. As an athlete, he had it all. Incredible talent, positive attitude, great work ethic, and focus. He knew how to work hard, but he also knew how to keep it fun and enjoy the sport. Jason's record shows that he was a great athlete, but he's an even better person. He is a true team player who always looked out for his teammates and encouraged each one of them to do their best and achieve their goals. Although Jason excelled in the long jump and the 200 meter dash, he was good at a lot of events and he would always do whatever I asked and whatever we needed him for for the good of the team. He was a true team player. We had a lot of great times in the three years that I coached him. I remember his freshman year when we went to the Indoor National Championships in Boston. Jason had a big grin on his face throughout the week and his excitement was contagious. Jason had me take pictures of him with the porters from the hotel, in the jacuzzi, and with athletes from other teams. He became friends with everyone and had a blast, but when it came time to jump, he was all business. In his sophomore year, we went to Naperville, Illinois for the Indoor Nationals. This is where he earned his first All-American title. But what really stands out in my mind is the trip home. We were on the same little puddle jumper plane as the Springfield College coach and his athlete, a 35 pound weight thrower. Our flight was delayed and we had to run through the airport to make our connection. This was no big deal for Jason and I, but the 300 pound thrower was struggling. I remember Jason grabbing the 35 pound weight from him and then coaching the kid from the other team saying, come on buddy, we can get there. And we did, we made the flight. But that story really sums up Jason's personality. He's always there to help and he's everyone's buddy. There are lots of other little things that stand out in my mind. For instance, when I had to drive the van home from meets, Jason would jump out at the gas station, wash the windows and ask if I wanted anything from the convenience store. Most kids sleep in the vans, but Jason would sit up front and talk, always asking, Coach, you doing okay? After I left Eastern and went to the University of Hartford, my 10-year-old son really missed Jay. We were scheduled to compete with Eastern at a meet at Westland, and my son Greg said, Mom, do you think Jason will remember me? When we got to the meet, Jason swept Greg onto his shoulders and took a lap around the track. Then he had him help get his mark for the long jump. The grin on both of their faces was priceless. One of the first things I did when I got rehired at Eastern last year was track Jason down. We had stayed in touch for a few years after he graduated, but I hadn't heard from him in a while. Through a teammate, I was able to find him, and after we met for lunch, I asked if he wanted to join me as assistant coach. It has been great having him pass his love of the sport on to our current student athletes, and he is doing a lot in helping to rebuild the track program here at Eastern Connecticut State University. The first time we met was on the team, we were teammates. And after that, we became roommates and the relationship just grew into a lifelong friendship. We met through a mutual teammate who was a high school teammate of his and he brought him up on a recruiting visit and he just, he clicked with everyone uh, from the minute that he, he came to our practice. My first impression of, of Jason when I first met him was that he was just ultra competitive um, and wanted so much to be a part of the Eastern team. Jason was an accomplished long jumper, but also an accomplished sprinter. Um, never forget racing against him in finals and just from the starting blocks being next to him and then two seconds later he's gone. He was just that much of a standout athlete on the track. Relay races with Jason, as long as I got him the baton, we won every single time. Never had to work with a handoff with Jason, it was just always a, a chemistry with him. He just had that, 
sense of ease about him on the track as a teammate and running with him. You always knew you were comfortable, you always knew you were in good hands, and uh, he was a very talented athlete. When it came time for a meet, it, it, he became really focused on, on the event, and you could see it in his eyes when he got in the blocks or on the runway. There was an intensity uh, and a, just a desire to win at all, at all costs. Jay's success as a long jumper was completely attributed to his speed. He had so, so much speed. Uh, a lot of times you see long jumpers, they have, they have pretty decent speed and then just a ton of explosiveness off the board. And, you know, usually go really high out and over the pit. Jay was shot over the pit like a laser because he had so much speed coming down the runway, it just carried him out into the pit. Jason was the athlete who was approachable. He was more into the sport for the sport and his teammates than he was for the success in the limelight. And was a perfect fit here at Easton. He fit, he fit really well with the team. It is my honor at this time to present for induction into the 2013 E-Club Hall of Fame, Jason D. Edwards.